Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'd like to uh, make or challenge you with a few ideas. I think that we have a risk here, which is basically trying to certify things that are still not completely understood. I got this message from or the, the, the head of the uh, digital association in Switzerland, which is quite interesting about digital ethics, for instance. So, before being able to certify something about digital ethics, you need to really understand what that means and how can you control this thing. On the other hand, there are things that have been doing for a while, such as designing, building, manufacturing maintaining digital systems that we do understand a lot. And in one hand, certain industries are doing that in the correct way, such as the, those with safety, the aviation industry, for instance, made it. The um, nuclear industry is making it quite well. But we, when it comes to digital, the digital war, things are not really there. So what are you? Going wrongly. Is this more of a thing of economic incentives or simply uh, people do not really evaluate privacy and security to a certain level? Can they understand the level of the risk they are facing? So there are many different questions and I would like to go through a couple maybe a little bit more conceptual and then ask <coughs> the, the professor Perry uh, the what I would like first to, to to launch this idea. But whenever you have a system, a smartphone or whatever it is, the notion of security is, is, is not completely grasped by people. What I mean by that, when you say, okay, my <coughs> communication with uh, Mr. Rufo, for instance, is um, encrypted or it has, it, is, it has this property of confidentiality and integrity and authentication, but does that really mean something for the regular user? My, uh, my opinion, after working with this for 20 years for many different markets, many different personas, the answer is no. Makes sense, it rings a bell maybe for 5%. If 5%, one out of 20 really understand what they're saying. So, so, so this, is, this is an issue. What I've been trying, what we've been trying to do is okay, security at the end of the day is about the system behaving the way you expect. Lot of sense. What I mean is, Whenever you drive a car, for instance, let's say a mechanical car without a bunch of electronics, also have driven it for maybe a few months, your own car, you know exactly to expect what to expect from your car. So there's no gap between your own mental model of the car and the car itself. It behaves as expected. Digital systems in nature your mobile, or your network, whatever you're doing, are exactly the opposite. Because they are digital, they do not work in a continuous space. They change behavior. You take something, then it completely changes its behavior. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it would be using Windows for a while when it changes, averaging changes. So the first thing that any standard should try to grasp is about the user experience. For a long time, the user experience regarding security has been put aside. People do not really try to solve this issue. Actually, this is one of the 10 challenges that the, the, the American Navy, the Department of Homeland Security, and others, entity, three letter agents in the US, have listed as super important. How can you manage to have systems that behave in whatever sense you expect the way the user, the user wants? So, 
the way I the way I see the subject, we need to solve this issue. And in order to solve this issue, we need to address so many things in, in parallel. We need to make sure that the CPU processes as expected. We need to make sure that the operating system works as expected. We need to make sure that app works as expected. So there are so many things to solve. This proposition that has been around for a while tries to solve some of those issues by having more people looking in a transparent way to the to the to the problems. This is that everything that we know. But as I see and has been seen for the last 20 years, the real gap is there, the semantical gap between what the system performs, usually written in a secure policy if you go for security enterprise devices, and what you really get from the system uh, in terms of user expectation. Thank you. Uh, I hope you did not expect bits and bytes, that's not a